Hello gamers, we're back on Super Auto Pets. It's been a while, I owe you all an apology, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you like to chill out and uh, just put this on in the background or like fall asleep to it. I'm sorry, I've been, it's been a horrible start to the year for various reasons, which I'm sure we'll get into at some point. Um, but in my absence, the golden pack has been released. Now this adds a lot of new pets, man. <laughs> so many new pets. The food is like, um similar which is kind of weird um but yeah no lots of new pets let's just jump straight into it into the arena i am fully prepared to get stomped um i did play this when it was on the um i did play this when it was on the what was it on the test server and i got destroyed so Silk Moth, I remember, I do quite like. If the friend ahead is hurt, give it plus one health. Okay. And these guys give the nearest friend behind plus two health. So these, you're going to start as one and four, and you're going to start as three and four. So I quite like that. I imagine they've changed a lot of things um, since the test server. The saucy abs. Um, we're just going to have to play and find out, to be honest. I'm not one to spoil things for myself. So, yo, what was that animation? What was the animation of them? Oh, I forgot about bulldogs. Of those guys just like joining the... I'm so confused. Okay, we lose. That's fine. They've added loads of new customization by the looks of it. Okay, I like the bulldog. Set attack equal to health plus one. If we do that... Yeah, okay, I like that. But all I will say is I could actually do with... Huh... Yeah, I could do have a different kind of pet as well. Oh, never mind. I think we go. So you're going to give that guy... Can I even do this? I, uh, I think I should honestly... I don't know if this is the correct thing to do. You need to give HP to this guy. And you will then buff him. Okay, let's go like that. We'll freeze these two cone snails. Um, give one pet the egg perk. Deal two damage before attacking once. Okay, I mean, that could be a good thing. There's no, no reason to freeze it. I think I'm having a pretty bad start here. These are the pets I do remember, though. So, okay, we've got a very similar setup. Except he's got a bird. Okay, nice, they trade. Okay, looking good at the minute. Nice, that's better. So they have changed the way that it all works. There's a new interface. There's a new life system. I think I saw that on the test server. We get our life back. Okay, interesting. Um, let's buff our cone snail. So give the nearest friend behind plus four health. I do like that. Of course, trumpets are used to summon golden retrievers. Give one random faint pet in the shop plus one. You are a faint pet. Hmm. Okay. I quite like the look of this weasel. If I'm being totally honest. I think we we buy you and then sell you and buff you, but do I, I, don't, I don't think I want to do that, maybe. Or we could. Let's do a bit of this. Let's do a bit of merging. How about this? So I do want you to faint, but I don't want you to be at the back because then you might not faint every game because obviously if we win and you're still alive, you don't faint, so we don't get the extra gold. Lots of things i got to think about. A level 2 Silk Moth seems good. A lizard. If a lizard is hurt... Summons a three and one lizard tail. And that could happen however many times it runs. If you just give this guy loads of HP, it could summon loads of tails. Well, I suppose he can't, can he? Because there's only so much room on the board. Okay. Oh, man. This is, there's a lot to learn. This is going to take us a, a few weeks, I think, of playing. Um, I do just need to jump in and play, though, for sure. Okay. They're going for... I'm... Oh. Okay, uh, what I imagine is a golden retriever. Nice. Maybe not nice. No, it's nice. It's nice. So he doesn't faint now, so we don't get that extra gold. So you probably should go a little bit further forward, but it's not my priority right now. Let's get the silk moth. Okay. Surgeon fish. Before attack, spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind plus six health. I do like that, but we need something else with more HP. I am tempted to just buy a cone snail. I really should buy an opossum. 
Okay, and plus one and plus one health until, yep. Yeah, plus one attack, plus one health until end of battle for each gold over ten. Oh, that's interesting. So you could, you do a gold build, you save loads of gold, this guy just gets stacked. Okay. I like the opossum. I, I am actually thinking about maybe giving this guy some more health than he should have, maybe. And I might freeze, freeze this. I really don't know. Um, I, I, oh god, I barely know an early game build, never mind like a, never mind like a, you know, early to mid transition or anything like that. It's going to be a, a difficult uh, time here. That's okay, we're here to learn, which is look what everybody else is doing. And not necessarily copy them, but you know, take inspiration. Um, okay, level 2 opossum. Honestly, we'll get it because I would like to sell you. You would buff a... Random faint pet in the shop with plus two, plus two. You're a faint pet. When you faint, you give the nearest friend behind plus four attack, plus two health. Yeah, I like that as well. So I'm going to sell you now before I forget about it. You're now four and five. I wouldn't mind you being in front of the bulldog. But for now, I think this guy should stay for a bit. Give one pet the eggplant perk. Push opposite enemy one space forward. I think for now, I'm actually going to buff... It should be the bulldog. I like this guy. Okay, another cone snail. Um, I think I'm going to leave trumpets for our next attempt at a run. Although, I'm not sure if it's like a thing where it's a trumpet build. Or if you just need if you need to incorporate trumpets in whatever build you do in this pack. I really don't know yet. Um, I guess that's something I've got to figure out. I feel like online like verses would be the best way to learn like what's kind of meta and what's, you know. What's strong? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a golden... No, there's not a golden retriever. Okay, they used all their trumpets with an ability that gave us purple. Something purple, like purple weakness. Okay, let's... Friends from a different battle. Let's buy a cone snail. Give one pet the chocolate cake perk. Gain plus three experience and faint before attacking. So, why would you want that? I guess you could, like, buff this guy to level 2, and then he faints, so... Then you lose a pet straight away. I think I'd rather not do that. Okay, obviously, I'm going to want both of these. Although this guy is not fainting, so I should really move you forward a lot. Let's freeze both of these. And then, let's go ahead and... Is that a permanent perk? So, we put that on anybody, they get... No, that must be a temporary thing. I'd rather give you an apple instead, then. Okay, our level one bulldog, by the way, is what I'm currently um, putting all of our food into. <laughs> That's what I'm invested in the most. Okay, nice. Should survive for an extra kill here. I don't like the look of... Yeah, I don't think we win what's coming up here. Although, this guy... We'll give this... Oh, we weren't far off. Okay. Back down to four lives. And one, I like this guy, but we don't really need him. I'm going to get a weasel and a better fish. I'm going to re-roll. Okay, I really don't know what I want. Summon one free and free level one copy of the knocked out pet. Your five and five, is anybody you could replace? To be honest, you probably should be getting rid of like a lot of, a lot of these things. Activate buyability. I forgot that was the thing as well. Oh my god, okay. Listen, let's get a silk moth next turn and i would really like that's the okay the penguin is i remember the african penguin he's the one that i fed the waffles to on the test server it's obviously activates his viability okay that frontline pet that we've got is too weak for this you know for, for, for that position he is given health to the bulldog but he shouldn't be frontline don't yeah we don't win this oh he had the lizard okay he's got a wizard hat as well i quite like that Level 3, Silk Moth. Oh, pet reached max level. Of course, yeah. It's our first time playing on this pack. I forgot about that. Friend. Uh, oh, my voice is going. Oh, no. Friend ahead hurt. Give it plus 3 health. Is that, That's really not that strong, is it? This guy's really not that strong. Enemy summoned. Deal 3 damage to one random enemy. Faint. Give the last enemy ink. He's 8 and 4 though, so that could be attack and ability deal free less damage. He is actually really strong. I feel like we probably should 
think about changing this up a little bit. Let's, I mean, the weasel's not doing a lot for us right now. This guy, he's doing a little bit more than I'd expect. I'm going to sell the weasel. And I'm going to get a cuttlefish up the front. Bro, that sound. <laughs> that sound. Okay. Enemy summoned. I mean, uh, no one's got a buy ability. I was kind of hoping for. Take five damage and give the nearest friend ahead plus to a... Yo, I like that. How about we do a bit of that then? We change it up a little bit. Let's sell the cone snail. You want to go in front of him. End turn, take five damage and give the nearest friend ahead plus two attack. Plus one health. Is this the guy that I want to give that to though? Is the question. If this guy gets hurt. Um, yeah, let's try it. I like the idea of that. I think it's not really going to pay off for a while, unfortunately. And I doubt we're going to be able to get a level 2 one before this guy dies. So we might just keep that guy frozen until he does die and then we'll replace it kind of thing. Oh my god. I haven't seen this hat for years. The old beer brie cap. Oh my days. Okay. Um, friend ahead hit. Give it melon perk and plus 5 attack. Okay. That would work once, wouldn't it? Um, do I want to sell anybody else is the question. I could also get this guy to level 2. Let's do that. So now when you take 5 damage, you're going to give plus 4, plus 2 to this guy. Which, to be fair, he's very low health anyway. So it's probably not the best person to give it to. Um, take 5 damage, give the nearest friend a head, plus 4, plus 2. This takes 5 damage. I really want this to go behind him but i'd have to get rid of some of these i honestly think i think the bulldog is is bad let's add the crane you're gonna buff him okay you'll buff each other whatever the crane will give this guy melon at the end of this turn i think or i hope we'll get another cuttlefish frozen here we go melon nice okay uh hmm yeah he's gonna lose melon next to him and then i'll get it back Wait. Yeah, that's good. That means he's never going to die. Right? I don't think. I don't think he's ever going to die. We just won around, by the way. Um, yeah, because now he gets hit again and they just put Melon Armor back on the guy. Oh, what a life. Okay, I'm going to keep that cuttlefish frozen for a second. I'm rolling looking for another crane, really. Buy ability. That's an end turn ability, isn't it? Okay. Chock like a give to the crane. Give it. I'm going to guess it gives 10 attack instead. Let's do it. Give 5 attack. Works twice per turn. Okay. Not really what I was going for. Um, I'll keep the cuttlefish frozen. Chocolate. I suppose I'll give that to the cuttlefish. Although. Thinking about it. Oh no. He doesn't get hurt. Does he? I'm an idiot. He doesn't get hurt. Because. It just takes the melon armor off. He has to actually take damage. Who is HP in order to get Melon Armor back? Okay. Uh oh. There's a Golden Retriever inbound here and it's going to kill us because it's going to be 4 and 4. Oh, we we're so close. Okay. Okay. I actually really like the catfish. Spend 1 gold activate buy ability on nearest friend ahead. That's really strong. I just don't have any buy abilities. I should. I should really get some better pets, but. Okay, let's buy one of you. I'm going to keep the chocolate bar frozen for a second. Okay, I'm going to buy a manatee. He'll get melon armor again now. I'm going to level you up to level two. Give the last two enemies ink. Gain plus one trumpet for each two health this guy has. I might swap him out for one of these because it's really not working for me, to be honest. Um, no, let's leave it for now. Oh, I think the bear's quite good and I've just... I think the bear's quite good. Five friendly attacks deal six damage to two end of enemies. Yeah, I quite like that. Uh oh, the crane's moved, but it's melon armored our cuttlefish instead. Okay. Oh my god, look at the amount of trumpets they've got. Here we go. Oh, it's over. We tried. We learned a lot though, I think, did we? Maybe not. Look at the background, by the way. Look at the new background. Okay, claim reward. Hello. We got a wizard hat. 
Is that all we got? I've got 12,704 snacks out of 700. Um, where's the wizard hat? <laughs> There's so many new hats. Whoa, you can buy new hats as well. Um, okay. Wow, there's a lot of hats. So let's put the wizard hat on. Oh, look at this guy. Bucket hat. Okay, backgrounds. Let's have a look at the backgrounds then. Oh. Entrance. Bro, there's... Okay. Is there a way to look at, like... What I can get, if that makes sense? How do I... I don't know. Okay. Let's just jump straight back into it. Oh, look at the wizard hats. For some reason, I really wasn't expecting that. Um, okay. You're two and three, so I'll take that. Remove one attack from the first enemy. I'm not against that. Spend one trumpet to deal three damage. I would take that if we had uh, the ability to get in a trumpet, maybe. Okay. Let's try this for a start. Uh, the delicious cakes. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to take me a while to learn this, by the way, people. I haven't played this. I played on the test server like in December. Um, and it was difficult. But yeah, we just got to learn. Okay, more. I feel like I should take more goose, more geese, because, well, they're geese. Probably should merge some and get another possum. But there's also two silk moths here. Um, you know what? Let's just turn you into a unit and then I'll freeze both of these. I want to see these guys should remove free attack from the first enemy. Of course, he's only got two attack anyway. That kind of ruins it. I was hoping he was going to be like a four and four unit. So we've really just taken all of his health away from him. That's okay. This is going to be a draw, which is fine. I'm going to get this guy leveled up next. I'm thinking, in fact, we'll get the opossum leveled up as well. Okay, if this guy gets hurt, we gain two trumpets. The friend ahead faints. Okay. I'll, I might get both of those once I can afford to. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, the, yeah, the goose really aren't good options right now. Here we go. One and six. Still not great, but... Door, head, and what do you do? You just, Oh, you push yourself to the front. Okay. Successful uh, round, though. We'll take, we'll take that. That's our first trophy of the run. Okay, I do want to merge these, though. So let's get them merged. Um, and then I do think... Friend ahead faints, gain plus one, plus two. That could become better later on, maybe. I'm unsure. Uh, I do want to get an apple on you, but also there's an opossum there. And he's kind of our biggest unit right now. I actually do want to get this guy a little bit bigger and then put the silk moth behind him. Every time he's hurt, he gains trumpets. But then you can't put the silk moth behind him. And have the ox behind him. So you don't need the ox behind him. What you do need in front of the ox is um, somebody that will like spawn things, like the the lizard or the the dog that spawns the pigs. Let's get another musk ox. I think we should be feeding this guy an apple and leveling him up. And now I'm looking at this and I'm I'm thinking the penguins are good purchase, isn't it? It is, because it's going to give three random friends. Now, let's ignore the penguin for now. Oh, I'm going to move these. Uh, I'm going to change these over soon, I think. Put the silk moth behind the guinea fowl instead. Then you can get hurt, heal a little bit, maybe get hurt again, maybe heal a little bit more. He does die instantly there, but it's okay. This is a win. That's a victory. Okay, let's give me the African penguin again. I'm going to say no. I'm going to give, give another apple to the guinea fowl. I'm going to give another apple to the guinea fowl. I'll sell you when there's a faint pet that I want. How about that? Friend summoned. If in battle, give it plus two experience. That would be really good if we had that. And then, like, a pig. The, th the thing that summons pigs in front of this guy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What summons things, though? In turn, give one random friend from the current shop to you. Oh, that's hardly going to work. Yeah, I think we maybe get rid of the goose by that flying fish, and then we get ready to replace it. Or replace somebody else with a pet that summons things. Put that in front of the, the ops. That could actually be, like, a pretty decent idea, to be honest. 
Okay, I'm really hoping our trumpets are going to save us here, but it doesn't look like it. This guy just keeps spawning lizards. No. Okay. I'm going to buy another opossum. I do want to sell you. Well, there's the level 3 opossum. There's an achievement. Okay. Buy, give all friends... Oh, we could just get you instead and just do like the buy ability thing. Let's get rid of... I mean, you need to swap over for sure. This guy, I'm starting to get unsure about. This guy's only going to work if we get the faint thing set up properly. We get the pet set up properly, but I don't think we're going to at this point. Um, the opossum's obviously really weak. Yeah, I don't know. We're at a weak point. I don't know how to adapt into a mid-game build. This guy's got the shark. That's going to deal some damage with the trumpets, isn't it? It does. It kills our ox. No, it's okay. We get a win. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, see, put the summon one slug. That then summons another slug when it dies. So that would be good in front of this guy. But then you'd also... That's when you'd want the flying fish. So let's say we get rid of the silk moth for the slug. To be fair, we could get rid of this. Let's commit to this for a little bit. That buffs you to 7-7. Seven, seven. I actually do quite like that. And now I think I would probably get rid of you for a flying fish. If I saw another one. But then you could also get rid of this guy. Because the frog. Friend ahead faints deal free damage to the highest health enemy. Which I think that's better than an ox. So we sell the ox, get the dart frog. But now my fear is, have I made that commitment too early? The answer is most likely yes. But while we're here, we can at least... Activate the buyability on our octopus friends to give everybody plus one, plus one. I don't want any more silk moths because I think I want to change this guy for the flying fish. The lizard probably wouldn't work as well because he has to be hurt to summon something. Where it needs to replace him. I think. Friend ahead. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's just see how we get on. I think that frog could be quite good if we get it upgraded. Same goes for the slug. Although I don't know if we're going to need the slug. We are going to need the slug. Okay, here we go. Nice. Yes. Now imagine a flying fish giving that slug like free experience. And be getting more stats every turn. Um, this has to go to the frog, in my opinion. Same goes for that chocolate bar. Five friendly attacks. Does him firing damage count as a friendly attack? I think it does. Let's try it. Let's get rid of the silt. Moth. Let's put the grizzly bear on. Let's put the grizzly bear at the back. I don't know about that. Yeah, we'll keep the octopus here. Um. Yeah, okay. We're going to freeze the frog. You're not going to deal six damage to the highest health enemy every time somebody... Every time the slug in front of you faints. Okay, they're ahead on the whole trumpet thing. Uh, okay. I don't think... Frog attack. <gasps> oh man, that was like the biggest like roller coaster of emotions right at the end. Then I thought we'd win it for a second. I don't know if the bear counts that as what I want it to count it as. If that makes sense. Start of turn, spend one gold to activate by ability on the nearest friend ahead. That would be really good with the octopus, wouldn't it? But I've got no room for you unless I get rid of the bear. Now I I think I saw the bear attack. But let's check again. I don't think it counts the frog as attack. It says one attack as three. Yeah, no, it doesn't count the frog attack as a... I'm going to keep it around though, because it could come in quite handy. Okay. There's six trophies. I think straight away activate by ability on you. You're in level one. If this guy was level two, would be hello. Uh, doing really well right now. I'm gonna re-roll a thing instead of giving anybody an egg. Deal eight damage to the last enemy for attacking once. I do need to get. I think that's where I'm gonna lose. Actually, I don't know why I re-rolled that. I do need to get perks or food, held food on these guys. If we're gonna win anything. Okay, up to eight trophies. Oh, trumpet, sorry. 12 trumpets, okay. Nice. Here we go. 
slug dies immediately. Oh, I need to hit the big lizard. Uh oh. Oh, I keep forgetting about the golden retriever, bro. That guy is so clutch. Okay, seven trophies. I'm getting nervous, man. This is the best we've done. I'm going to buy another version of you. I know what I want. I could buy another thing for you. Yeah, give everyone plus one, plus one. It's really not that good, is it? The octopus is really letting me down, I think, a lot. The fact that we've got a level one octopus slug and bear does get to me. And I think I may have like rolled past the flying fish at some point, but... Oh, they've killed our bear. No, I don't feel so good about that. Okay, good work by the slug, though. Not so good work by their golden retriever. Although, we're going to summon one now. Yes, it's so clutch. Oh, come on. That's eight trophies, everybody. We're two away. I've re-rolled. And again. What am I after at this point? I feel like that's such a bait. I'm going to give it to the frog. Okay, we do get a level two octopus anyway, so that's fine. Plus two, plus two. Still pretty bad. Uh, I should, probably should freeze the tomato, shouldn't I? But this guy, I mean, this guy's the only source of trumpets. And he's kind of, well, he was doing all right until that. So I think this, uh-oh. Yeah, I think we definitely lose. This is so we've actually like found someone that knows what they're doing with this game compared to us. Um, which is kind of sad. Takes us down to two hearts. There's still hope. We seem to get matched against some worse players. Level 3 Frog. Hello. Nice achievement unlocked. Deal 9 damage to the highest health. Okay, so that's when the friend in ahead faints. This is where I'm thinking we sell you and we buy this. Friend summoned. If in battle, give it plus 2 experience. We just level up the slugs, make them deal more damage, but I don't actually think that's what I want. What I do want is for you to get upgraded, though. And same goes for the Grizzly Bear. I think if I upgrade this guy, all he does is summon... I think he just buffs the size of the slugs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to buy an octopus. And I'm going to freeze both chocolate bars. And I'm not sure who I'm going to give them to yet. The octopus, potentially. I think it should be the octopus. Just to get to level 3 and you know get an achievement done. And then if we do find any waffles, we get... A lot more buy abilities um, for the octopus. Our bear's gone. Oh no. It's all down to the frog. Oh, they've got a lot more trumpets than us as well. That is kind of sad. Are you ready? Yeah. Bro, we weren't that far off. We weren't that far off. Okay. One little thing away. I think we do this just to, just to get a level three. I think we've probably got a bit of a weak build compared to what we should have at this point, to be honest. Um, you know, level one bear, level one slug. I, I kind of like the stats. Probably not enough held food as well, but I don't think it's that bad for like our second ever run on this uh, pack. Okay. Oh no, they've pushed our ord around. Oh no, that's actually really bad. I don't think they're gaining any trumpets though, so that could be a bonus. Okay, the bears died, so the, the whole slug frog thing could still be in effect here. I'm looking at it and I really don't think it's going to be in effect though. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Yes, nothing spawned. Okay, that's nine trophies. The one win away, please. I've got two chocolate bars. Uh, in my head, I'm going bear. We could get this guy to level 3 and get an achievement, but I honestly think right now, I think if the bear gets any attack off whatsoever, yeah, deal 12 damage to two random enemies. Chocolate bar. Oh, no. I'm going to give it to the guinea fowl. Okay, this is it, people. And we're going to come up against a unit. I know we are. We're on one life. We need one win. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's got a very interesting build. Okay, we've already killed one of his main slugs. Hang on, this could go really well for us. I'm just trying to analyze the situation. I've got a feeling they're sniping. I need to kill their frog, like now, before he kills anything of ours, please. The frog's been pushed back. That's a genius play. The frog's been sniped by the bear. He's also got trumpets, so I don't get too excited yet. Oh my god, he's done it. 
You've done it? Yes! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, the first video back. The first video back. Our first video on this pack. Oh! I do think we maybe got a bit of beginner's luck there. You know, uh, a bit of skill-based matchmaking maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we did it, people. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy we did that. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Incredible. Let's go, people. Let's go. I'm so happy. I was really struggling with this pack on the test server, but that's given me a little bit of hope there today. It could go really bad, but we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Once again, I apologize for being absent recently. Hopefully we can get back into some kind of... Um, I don't want to say schedule because schedule's boring, but like, you know, some kind of uh, consistent upload schedule. I know you've heard that before a million times, but honestly, it has not been the start of the year that I would have hoped for, so... It's all right. Let's uh, let's just finish the month on a high and go into Feb, you know, looking forward. All right. Hopefully you've all had a, uh, a nice January and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Maybe. Who knows? Goodbye.